Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel Breaking News, small video, I will try to be small because there are so much things to say, but for the people that were waiting for the game Juventus Napoli tomorrow, looks like there will be no game, we don't know, we don't know, because one minute there is no game, the other minute there is a game, so we don't know, but looks like it's really difficult to see Juventus our guys playing and beating Napoli tomorrow. I explained around 7.30, something like that, p.m. my time, uh, it started with some news that looks like the players of Napoli that should travel to Torino to be there to play the game versus Juventus tomorrow, they were blocked. Blocked by the authorities, ASL, that's the name, ASL, uh, from Napoli, blocked because they are scared. They are scared that the pandemic, the COVID situation will uh, be everywhere in Italy. So they blocked them. They said, no, you are not able to travel to Torino. Really strange situation, guys. It's really strange. I explain you. If the players of Napoli and the staff and everywhere was tested two times, two times in the middle of the week and even this morning and they identified who was positive to COVID and they left them at home. We are speaking about Zielinski, we are speaking about Elmas, okay? Uh, Insigne was injured, that's another story, but those two guys were put out of their squad, they were not traveling to Torino, so why? I know Campania, the region of Napoli, is having a real difficult time. I understand that. Completely agree that we have to pay attention because health is more important than something else. But why are you blocking Napoli to go there if you are sure they have been tested that they are not positive? So the rules, the rules are saying you need to have 13 players. If you have 13 players, they that are able to travel, they have to play, and that's fine. You need only 13 players to play, 11 plus 2 on the bench, and then you are allowed to play. If you are not able to present yourself with those minimum required players, then you lose. You lose 3-0. It's a forfeit, you know, like you see with the kids when it's snowing, that one team is there with the kids and the other one doesn't arrive, it's the same thing, 3-0. Okay, but now, and that's a big problem, they don't want to lose 3 0. So, what are we saying now? Some sources are saying that if it's the authorities that block you, the Italian sportive law doesn't count. Other sources are saying it is what it is, it's 3 0. So, we don't know, but something incredible happened, guys. In the meanwhile, Juventus. After an hour of two where they didn't communicate at all, yes, they did a communication about Rugani saying hello. Also, that was really suspicious because it's a loan and looks like the player will never come back to Juve. But except of that, it was really strange because after two hours, they posted a king. A king tweet, guys. Official communication of Juventus saying Juventus FC will be tomorrow regularly on the field at 20.45 p.m. So 8.45 p.m. We will pre be present on the field like the Italian Serie A calendar is asking us. So guys, they tweeted it in every possible language, you know, with all the accounts, Spain, Arabic, uh, Chinese, uh, what, what else, all the language, English, uh, Italian, and so on and so on. A bit the same like when uh, Inter lost the final versus Sevilla, where Juventus was really quick to celebrate Sevilla, saying in every possible language, congratulations, Sevilla. They did the same. They smashed them. Okay, so what I want to add about that is that uh, normally at the moment the game it's still valid. Okay, it's still valid. Nobody cancelled or postponed the game at the moment. Game is still on. The problem is that Napoli, the team of Napoli and the player, they are not able to go to Torino because they were banned. They were blocked by the Napoli authorities so they, they are not able to go there really strange also because it said 
from Napoli that the players had to go home. They are not even in quarantine because they are allowed to go to the training camp. Really strange situation. Italy is a drama, guys. It's a drama. One thing happened in one minute, then we have something else in another minute. So everything is changing now that I'm doing the video. I believe it's already five minutes that I'm recording that video. Maybe everything changed again, but at the moment, officially the game is on. Juventus will be present on the field, guys. I can't wait to see the guys tomorrow, you know, the 11 players of Juventus with nobody in the front, the, the referee blowing and saying there is nobody, so it's 3-0 for Juventus. That would be the amazing, that would be epic. And I will add, guys, karma is a B. I will not say the, the word, but karma is a B. Why? Because De Laurentiis, De Laurentiis that did everything to block Milik to Roma, so that Roma didn't give us Dzeko or Edin Dzeko. Karma is a B, guys. Karma is a B. Now you might lose 3-0. You did so complicated. You did everything you could. And we spoke about it in the papers this morning. You did everything that you could to cancel the game. You asked Juventus to postpone the game, to ask to, to use their joker to say, please let that game be postponed or cancelled or whatever, I don't know. No, it was not Juventus. So I don't know if it's a, a, a trick or not. Um, I don't know if it's a trick from De Laurentiis to ask Napoli's authorities to block them so that they had an excuse. I don't know. It looks like that. It looks like that, but I don't know. So strange, I just received some message with new updates. Uh, I don't know if it's from Twitter, if it's official or not. I have to check, so I will stop the video. Thank you guys, we will follow that up because there are so many dramas in that story. But today, again, the game is on, Juventus will be there, Napoli, I have no idea because Tilly transportation doesn't exist in 2020 or maybe I don't know, but how will they do to go to, to Torino? No idea. Let's see. Sorry for the quality of the video, so, sorry for the quality of the sound, I don't know if it worked or not, sorry for the the space where I am, uh, but I had to do the video. As always, Forza Juve, with 3-0, maybe. Let's see. Ciao.